Hello friends, here I am in the sunken garden and today's story is about Jesus going up to the mountaintop and being transfigured, transformed with a couple of his disciples uh, accompanying him on the journey as he climbs. So we find that Jesus has been uh, walking along the Sea of Galilee and Capernaum, um, Bethsaida, Nazareth. He's just been traveling around and everywhere he goes, crowds of people are following him. And then this one time, Jesus invites uh, his disciples, Simon, who's now known as Peter, and John and James to follow him as they climb up a mountainside. And they don't know quite where they're going. So imagine we're climbing up this mountain, Jesus and his friends, and they're going to the top and they don't know exactly what Jesus is up to. Where is he going? What is this all about? And they climb and climb and climb until they reach the mountaintop. And then here we are at the mountaintop and you're looking around and you say, wow, what an amazing view. And you're away from all the crowds and you can see for miles and miles around. It's breathtaking. And then there's quiet. And there they are. There we are wondering, what is this all about? Why are we up here, Jesus? What's going on? And then there, right in front of their eyes, as they look around, all of a sudden, something amazing happens. And there appears with Jesus, Moses and Elijah, prophets. And they're thinking, wow, what is going on? They can't believe their eyes. And Jesus begins talking, conversing, having a conversation with Moses and Elijah. And I wonder, what is he talking about? Is he asking Moses, like, how hard was it that you had to part the Red Sea? And people weren't really listening to the message that you, Elijah and Moses, were trying to bring to the people about God and how God wants us to love one another and take care of one another and treat everyone fairly and equally, just justice. Oh, my young friends, you want Mrs. Bird, what, like, what are you talking about here? I'm talking about being kind to one another, uh, really going that extra mile for each other. And so here you are, dazzled. And then all of a sudden, there comes a cloud that descends from the skies. Give me a moment here. I'm taking, and this cloud comes and it's covering Jesus and Moses and Elijah. And then a voice says, this is my beloved, listen to him. And then poof, when the cloud is lifted, Moses and Elijah, they're gone. And there stands Jesus with this bright, dazzling light shining upon him. And you ever think about how sometimes, kids, you're sleeping in your bed and you're in the dark and you're scared and you call out for mom and dad and then they come to your room and they flick that light switch and the bright light shines on you and suddenly you can see. It's all clear. Your mom and your dad are standing there and you're safe and secure. I think that's what it might have been like when John and James and Simon Peter were standing on that mountaintop with Jesus. They didn't know what to ask. They didn't know what to say. They had heard those words. This is my beloved. Listen to him. This voice that seemed to come out of the cloud. We've heard that voice before. Right? If we remember when Jesus was baptized and he went down in the water and he came up, there was this voice, this spirit that descended upon Jesus' body like a dove and said, this is my beloved with whom I am well pleased. What does it mean, my friends? It means that for you and for me to remember 
that God's light is always going to shine on us. And that because that light shines on us, we should shine our light upon other people. And that means sharing our love with everyone we meet, being caring and, and helping them in whatever way they need to be helped. That's what God wants us to do. That is what brings the light, which is God's smiling on each and every one of us. So this week, as you are journeying around, whatever activity you're engaging in, share a smile with the people that you encounter. I know it's hard to do with a mask on, but when you smile, your eyes twinkle. Do that knowing that you are sharing God's love. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Amen. <laughs>